Hello everyone. Uh, I hope you're doing well. I went out to Winners and uh, Marshalls today. Um, it's been about five or six days since I've actually been um, at those stores. So I, I was kind of having some withdrawal symptoms, some shakiness and sweating and everything. So I thought I better go get my fix. And uh, yeah, they had a lot of Christmas stuff out, uh, big time. So um, I'll show you the candles and the wax that I got first, and then um, I'll go to the home decor. Um, I didn't really need any more home decor for Christmas. Um, I certainly do have enough, but um, some of the stuff was just uh, so beautiful and frankly irresist irresistible, so I, I did give in. So, so I will start with the candles. Uh, now, this first one, I thought I had... I knew about each world journeys that there is. Um, uh, if I hadn't seen them, at least I've heard of them. But this one, I don't, I'm sure I have not heard about this one. And um, I was quite excited to see it. I do love world journeys. Um, they're always a two wick paraffin wax. They're always a good clean burn. Um, for the most part, most of them are quite strong. Um, so, I was quite surprised to see this one and it's Greek pomegranate and yeah I, I don't remember seeing this one and or hearing about it so this was poured in 2016 I believe yes the two wick paraffin oh and this is just a very deep rich pomegranate I wouldn't say it's it's not tart it's it's a sweet pomegranate Mm, it's good. Um, so yeah, um, I don't know if this was out. If I mean, if you've heard of this before in previous years, let me know. But I, I personally haven't. Um, I, I'm sure I have not heard of that one. But it smells wonderful on cold. And I do like those deep, rich, fruity scents in the winter and the fall. Especially mixed with um, evergreen scents. And then another one... Um, I picked up was a European release and this is the Yankee Candle in frankincense and um, I've seen this uh, before people hauling it mostly from I believe the outlets and I was always kind of intrigued um, I figured it was kind of a nice spicy scent and I do like those um, it's got a fair fair amount of oils in it uh, this was poured in. They always cover up the labels, but I'm assuming 2016. Oh, no, it's a 2017 pour, actually. So I had no clue what frankincense um, smells like. I don't hang out with the three wise men, so I have no clue. Um, but this is actually... Um, it is spicy, but not. it's not overly spicy. Um, it's very rich. It's very warm. Um, there is there's a sweetness about it, um, almost like a a sweet floral, but a spicy sweet floral, if that makes any sense. But there is there is definitely a, a kind of a spiciness to it. But it's um, uh, it's very warm and um, very deep. It's it. It really does smell quite nice, actually. It's not, um, certainly not a typical winter scent. Um, uh, you can probably kind of burn it all year. But it does certainly have that warm, spicy, uh, warm spiciness to it. So, yeah, I, I, did love, I did like it on cold, so I hope it throws. And then another um, candle I got was another Yankee candle. And this is the Simply Home line. Now, the Simply Home, it's like any Yankee candle. Uh, this line is kind of hit and miss. Um, I've had some that are kind of light throwers. I've had some that um, uh, threw like a beast. So it, it's hard to know what you're going to be getting. Um, it, You know, a fair amount of oils. Um, this was poured in 2016. Um, now, I wasn't sure when I picked this up what it's going to smell like. Um, but it's it's clove. Um, I get uh, I get more clove than cinnamon. Um, cinnamon kind of you know shows up a little bit, but it's definitely clove. And there's evergreen too. It's like an evergreen clove scent. It's um it's very deep. It's very rich. Oh, 
I really, really like it. Um, yeah, I couldn't really tell by the label what what it was going to smell like, but it is called Holiday Magic, and yeah, it's just oh, cloves and evergreen. It's it really smells nice. And then um, I did get some tea lights. Um, I haven't had a lot of experience with the Yankee tea lights, um, so I'm hoping that these are going to throw. So I got two packages of the Yankee Candle Warm Chestnut. And I would love to find this in a large candle because I absolutely love the smell. So these are about half the price they are in the Yankee stores. Oh, my God. Whoa, that smells good. Oh, it's just, it's uh, a very warm, uh, slightly spicy, nutty kind of scent. Oh, my gosh. Is it ever good? Um... That's why I got two packages. I just absolutely love this one. Um, so I, if you do see it in like, uh, you know, TJ Maxx, Winters, Marshalls, and in the candle form, let me know and I'll, I'll keep looking out for it. But man, I really like that one. And the the last package of scented tea light candles is hot buttered rum. And I can't now on cold the um, warm chestnut are fairly strong. But this one, not so much. It's a bit lighter, so hopefully I can smell it. Mm, yeah, I can, I can kind of get, I, it does smell like warm buttered rum, actually. Um, so that's it, candle-wise. And then um, I got some beautiful decorations. And like I said, I don't need any more decorations, but these were just so beautiful. Um, and I mean, a lot of my decorations are like a couple of decades old. So anyway, um, so this first one is like a snow globe. And it's in the shape of a lantern. It has little cardinals in it. I just absolutely love uh, cardinals, especially in the wintertime. Um, out back, we got all the evergreens and they're covered in snow. And you see the red cardinals. It's just beautiful. Um, and we shake it up. And then it's got some music. Whoop. I guess I have to change the battery. Okay, obviously I have to change the battery. It, it was working earlier. Anyway, um, it does play music anyhow. Um, so yeah, geez, I haven't had a snow globe in years, but um, I just thought that was really, really pretty. And then they had this candle holder and I love dark reds and burgundies and uh, they did have this in a dark green which was quite nice too but I'm just really drawn to that uh, dark burgundy um, so you open it up here and put the candle in now I was thinking uh, I don't think I would feel comfortable putting like um, a Bath and Body Works one in here. Maybe a Yankee with the Aluma lid I would feel a little bit safer with. I don't know. It's just a little too enclosed for me, I guess. Um, I don't know. What would you suggest? Just maybe a Yankee with the Aluma lid? Um, I just don't know if I want um, something quite open like a Bath and Body Works one in there. Or, or I could just put one of those... Um, what do you call them, fake candles in there with the, the fake kind of flicker in it, um, maybe that would be the, probably the safest thing. Or, or a little tea light in a, a glass holder or something like that. But, oh, I just absolutely love this. And anything with, like, trees and that on it, oh, I thought it was just gorgeous. And then I got this little fellow for the um, to put on the doorknob. It's got the little bells here and... Um, yeah, just the, the, the dark red, the dark greens. Um, he's got a little carrot nose and the little bells. Um, I thought it was just $7, I believe. It's just so cute. And then, um, oh, man. Oh, I just melt when I look at this little guy. It's a traveling mug for tea or coffee or hot chocolate. 
And I bought a coffee cup a while ago which had um, the owl on it with the fall colors and he had a little scarf and glasses. And this is a little squirrel or chipmunk and he's got the little glasses and the hat and the scarf. and um, oh, they're Just so adorable. And um, oh I, I drink a lot of tea. So um, I bought this. It was just like uh, $10. And you um, you put the tea in this middle part, uh, fill it up with water, and then you press, oops, put it back in. Come on, get in there. There we go. And then you press it down uh, to squeeze the tea leaves. Um, so you can get a few cups in there. So um, sometimes I like drinking two or three cups in one shot. So. Um, Thought that was cute and then um, uh, for the each year I buy these these are the hand warmers um, you get uh, 10 10 pairs um, so you can sometimes I'll throw these in my boots too you don't have to just use them for your hands but they're just basically um, uh, charcoal and you act activate it by getting out of the package and you just shake it a little bit and it keeps your hands warm for um, oh if I remember maybe four or five hours it keeps your 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 feet or your hands uh, nice and well yeah it says seven plus hours on here so it keeps your hands and your feet uh, quite toasty for quite a few hours there and they and they actually do work very well um, I, I've used them many times in the past and then uh, in the beauty section of uh, Marshalls and Winners, um, just to let you know, they're really clearing a lot of stuff out. I think they're trying to make room for all the Christmas stuff. Um, so a lot of really good stuff was on sale. And um, I picked up this. Uh, it's from the Creme Shop, and I've tried other products, and I do like them. And this is Melt Away. It's a three-in-one balm. It's a makeup remover, a cleanser, and a moisturizer. So it, it kind of acts like a cleansing oil. Doesn't have much of a smell. Um, I already stuck my finger in there. Uh, you get about three ounces, I think. Retails about twenty dollars, and it was on clearance for eight. And it has charcoal in it, um, shea butter, camellia oil, which I've heard is very good for anti-aging. Um, high in antioxidants, um, uh, glycerin, and pantothal. Uh, so you just put it on your face while it's dry, um, like a cleansing oil, and it melts everything away, and um, then you rinse it off. Um, but yeah, just yeah, um, TJ Maxx, um, Marshalls, and that um, they're they're really clearing it quite a bit out. Oh, and one more thing. Um, I always hear about the aluminum in deodorant not being good for you. Um, so I thought, you know, I'm going to try a natural deodorant uh, just to see how it works. So this one doesn't have any aluminum. 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 Um, <laughs> this is by Schmitz and it's rose and vanilla. And oh my gosh, they need to make a candle of this scent. Oh, it is so good. So that's kind of the color. Oh man, it smells good. Um, it reminds me of Colonial Candles Rosewood Candle, actually. It's just that deep, earthy kind of rose scent. I don't get vanilla, but oh my gosh, this smells fantastic. So is this going to work better than like a drugstore deodorant? I don't know. Um, I'm going to try it on my next 12-hour shift at the hospital. <laughs> And if I don't stink by the end of the shift, um, then I know it'll work because um, I need something heavy duty to get through those 12 hours. Um, so that's it. So I got my I got my little fix. Um, yeah, I found some great items. Um, I could have bought a lot more, but um, uh, I didn't control myself enough. Um, Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, yeah, let me know if you got any of these candles or if you found um, any of those big chestnut candles. Um, so anyway, I'm blabbering now. Um, 
I got a massive headache, so I'm going to go lay down for a bit and uh, see if it will go away. And everyone, everyone take care. Uh, give your loved ones a hug and kiss. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.